Flax seeds are considered to be one of the first items that was put into the health food category. Loved for their healing properties since the times of ancient Greece, when Hippocrates or Hippocrates, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce his name, he was a physician in Greece and wrote about how he used this to heal people. Also, in ancient Egypt, it was used in bread making back to 1000 BC. Flax seeds are one of the richest sources in the plant world of omega-3s. Now, everyone talks about omega-3s and they always use fish oil as what they take as a supplement. But did you know that the only reason why fish have omega-3s in them is because they eat algae? So plant foods have an abundance of this amazing healing omega-3 that is so good for our bodies, so good for inflammation. It is an anti-inflammatory. But where this black super powerhouse outshines its omega-3s is in its potential to make lignans. Why does it only have potential? Well, they have precursors in them, these precursor for a lignin that once it gets into our gut and our healthy bacteria gets into it, it then produces the lignin. So what are lignans? Lignans are a phytoestrogen and they basically mimic or dampen the effects of estrogen in the body. And it depends on the person, it depends on the where the lignin is developed from, but lignans are in flax, soy, whole grains, and fruits and vegetables. But flaxseed has the highest amount of potential for you in the lignin family. Flax is also high in fiber. It has, it's high in protein for the small amount. You know, you're not gonna eat 30 uh, grams of, uh, of uh, flax, but for the small amount that you eat, there is protein in there. It is also high in potassium, and B1, which is thiamine. And if that all wasn't enough, another big plus is that they are super high in antioxidants. But the problem is with flaxseed is we're a little intimidated by it. Like, well, what the heck do you do with these seeds? I mean, you don't just eat the seeds. Um, the problem with the seeds is it has a thick outer shell, which is good for us. So it's not like we don't want that shell, but we don't want to just sprinkle them in our salads because they're so small that it's really hard to like chew on them and to actually get them to break down. So the best thing to do is if you have a coffee grinder, if not, go get one, buy the seeds and grind them yourself. Now you can buy ground flax at the grocery store, but be very, very careful. Um, I've bought it before and opened it up and it smelled rancid. So the, the oil in the flax um, can spoil easily. So once you, um, you uh, break open that, that hard hole, it can oxidize very quickly, just like a banana oxidizes and avocados, you know, turn brown. So just get the seeds. I have a link below to some great seeds, golden seeds um, on Amazon. Today, I am gonna show you a couple ways to eat them. Now, the recommendations are one to two tablespoons of ground flax a day. So I'm gonna make today for you a cracker. And this, this recipe makes 32 crackers and each cracker is one tablespoon of flax. They're super, super easy, super easy. And it's a great way to get them in because you know, I was putting flax, I have little jars on my counter of flax and chia seeds and pumpkin seeds and walnuts, you know, my powerhouse foods that I wanna be eating daily. And it's funny that they're right on the counter, but I still forget to put them in stuff. So this cracker is a way to, another way to kind of like, oh, just eat my cracker for the day or eat my two crackers, keep some in your car, at your desk at work. This could be part of your meal planning is to put, you know, put things in strategic areas where you know you're gonna be eating and there's, they're always there. 
And I have a couple extra recipes for you too, so stay tuned, they are all super quick. Before we begin, now would be a good time to subscribe below, give me a positive comment, or none at all, and a thumbs up. For our easy cracker, we are mixing two cups of flax with one cup water. I put in some Creole seasoning just for flavor, garlic powder, a eh, little more Creole seasoning won't hurt. Put whatever you want as seasonings, Italian seasoning, whatever, it's up to you. You could just do salt too. It's, it's up to you. I put a little um, psyllium husk ground on here so it wouldn't be so sticky. And then we're just gonna roll it out till it's nice and thin. Square it up because you want 32 crackers that are just about the same size because you know they're all gonna be one tablespoon of your flax. Just get it nice and rolled out. Continue to do a squaring up and then we are gonna cut this bad boy. Make sure you are as even as possible. Get your 32 in here. You know, four times four, 16. Do it one more time. And you get eight by four, which is 32. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a salt on the top and pat it down. Put it in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. Look at these beauties. So they come apart. And if they, these ones are a little softer, you can put them back in for another couple minutes. For our quick single pancake, we are gonna mix one egg up with a few drops of vanilla, a tablespoon of sugar substitute, like monk fruit and ethyritol, and then a little pinch of baking soda, powder, I'm sorry, with a quarter cup of ground flax. We are gonna melt a little butter in the pan, pour our pancake in. First side, I did one and a half minutes on medium. Next side, I did one. Do a good flip and check it. Should be a little springy and your pancake is done. Yummy. Does that not look just like a pancake? It is gonna be spectacular. Okay, so how I'm gonna dress this, I put enough butter in my pan, I don't need to butter this. Got my half cup of berries, oops, that I need to be eating every day. Now, I just bought this, I've never tried it. Um, Lakanto has some different uh, products out there and I bought a bunch to try and to tell you what I think. So this is their maple syrup. I love using, now I use, uh, I call it labne. Um, it's kind of like sour cream. It's actually a kefir cheese. So it has a lot of probiotics, probiotics in it. <laughs> Sorry, my family always say probiotics and prebiotics. Uh, so yeah, so I love this. Like this to me in raspberries would be really tasty on here. And as for this, um, oh, let me get this off. I'm gonna just, I don't wanna dip my finger in. Put a little in the cap and see what the flavor is of it. That's pretty good. I can see a little drizzle of this. I wouldn't want a ton. All right, let's get a bite. Get some raspberry and some labne in there. Mmm. That is so good. It kind of has the texture of like um, a buckwheat pancake or a whole wheat pancake instead of just your regular old crappy processed flour pancake. Much healthier for me. Look at that. Look at how that looks just like a pancake. Tastes just like a pancake. And <laughs> it is four tablespoons of flax. So I'm gonna have a good poop, right? 